Hello and welcome. My name is Abu and in this lecture, I'll teach you about the HTML section heading elements. There are six levels of section headings. H1 is the highest level of section heading and H6 is the lowest level of section heading. And these are the syntax of every level of section heading starting from H1 to H6. Now let's go through them one by one. Here I wired up one simple landing page and marked up the main topic of this page using H1 heading element. H1 heading element is the highest level of section heading so it's always used to mark up the main topic of the page. Now let's add some page sections here inside this page like this. In this case the heading of this page section is marked up using H2 heading element. Now let's add section here inside this page section like this. In this case the heading of this subsection is marked up using H3 heading element. Now let's add section here inside this subsection like this. In this case, the heading of this nested subsection is marked up using H4 heading element. Now let's add section here inside this nested subsection like this. In this case, the heading of this nested subsection is marked up using H5 heading element. Now let's add some section here inside this deep nested subsection like this. In this case, the heading of this deep nested subsection is marked up using H6 heading element. Okay, this is how HTML's different level of section headings work. Now let's write some code and learn how to use them. Here I wired up one simple landing page. Let's mark up this landing page and learn how to use HTML's different section headings. This is the HTML document I created for this lecture called example.html. First, I'll try to mark up the top header area. Inside the body element, I'll create one header element. And inside the header element, I'll mark up the main topic of this page using h1 heading element. Now, I'll mark up the following two page sections. After the header element, first I'll create main element. The main element is used to mark up the main content area of the page. Inside the main element, I'll create the first page section using section element and mark up its heading using H2 heading element. After that, I'll create the second page section using section element and mark up its heading using H2 heading element as well. Now, I'll create this section with its heading inside the first page section. Inside the first page section, I'll create another section element and mark up its heading using H3 heading element. Now, I'll create this section with its heading inside this section. Inside this section, I'll create another section and mark up its heading using H4 heading element. Now, I'll create this section with its heading inside this section. Inside this section, I'll create another section and mark up its heading using H5 heading element. Now, I'll create this last nested section with its heading inside this section. Inside this section, I'll create another section element 
and mark up its heading using H6 heading element. Now let's mention which heading is used for each one. This is H2 and this is H3 and this is H4 H4 and this is H5 and this is H6 and this one is H2 I'll save this now let's try this up in the browser okay this is how HTML's different level of section headings look like in the browser. This is H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6, and H2 as well. So that is how you use different level of section headings. Now I want to give you some critical advice on how to use HTML's different section headings. My first advice is don't use other HTML elements to mark up the page headings and make them look like headings using CSS styles. For example, in this markup, all the page headings are marked up using paragraph element. Of course, it's totally possible to make them look like headings using CSS styles, but this is a bad practice. So always try to use H1 to H6 heading elements to mark up the different headings. My second advice is, don't use heading elements for making the text large and bold. Use CSS styles if you only want to make the text large and bold. Because HTML's different section heading elements are mainly used to mark up the main topic of the page and the topic of different sections. My third advice is don't skip the heading levels. For example, in this markup, the main topic of the page is marked up using H1 heading element but the heading of the page section is marked up using H3 heading element. H2 heading element is skipped. This is not a good practice. So always start with H1, next H2 and H3 and so on until H6. For example, like this. Starting with H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. My last advice is don't use more than one H1 per page. For example, in this markup, the main topic of the page is marked up using H1 heading element, but the heading of the page sections also marked up using H1 heading element. This is not a good practice because having multiple H1 per page is same as having a book with multiple name. So using only H1 per page is the best practice to follow. Okay, thanks for watching and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below.